Behind every great team, there's a visionary coach. Time to uncover the masters of the game. You see, football isn't just about the 11 players on the pitch. It's a symphony, a ballet of sorts, orchestrated by the maestro on the sidelines, the coach. Their tactics, vision and leadership are the invisible threads that bind a team together. Take, for instance, the likes of Sir Alex Ferguson, Arsene Wenger or Pep Guardiola. They didn't just coach their teams, they transformed them, molded them into sporting powerhouses. Their unique styles, their innovative approaches to the game have become the stuff of legend. The coach's role is as vital as the strikers who scores the winning goal or the goalkeepers who makes the game-saving block. They are the unsung heroes, the architects of the beautiful game. Now, let's dive into the stories of these visionary coaches who've left indelible marks on the world of football. In the realm of football, tactics can make or break a game. It's the unique strategies employed by different coaches that often define the outcome of a match. Every coach brings their own vision to the field, their own interpretation of the game. This interpretation is then translated into tactics, each as distinct as the coach themselves. Take, for example, the concept of total football. This dynamic strategy, popularized by Rhinus Michaels, the Dutch maestro, was revolutionary. It required every player to be adept at every position on the field, creating a fluid and unpredictable playing style that left opponents baffled and fans enthralled. Then, there's the tiki-taka style of play. Championed by Pep Guardiola, this method emphasizes short passing and movement, working the ball through various channels and maintaining possession. It's a chess game, one where patience, precision and persistence reign supreme. And who can forget the Catanaccio, a defensive strategy that originated in Switzerland but was perfected in Italy. Coaches like Helenio Herrera took this tactic to new heights, creating an almost impregnable defensive wall that frustrated even the most potent attacking sides. These are just a few examples of the myriad of tactics that coaches have employed over the years. Each of these strategies has not only helped teams win crucial matches, but also shaped the way football is played and viewed. But it's not just about winning, it's about leaving a legacy, about changing the game. Coaches like Arsene Wenger and Jurgen Klopp, with their emphasis on attacking football and high pressing, have left an indelible mark on the sport, influencing a generation of coaches and players alike. Tactics in football aren't static. They evolve, adapt and transform, just like the coaches who devise them. The tactical prowess of these individuals has turned them into masters of the game, architects of victories and creators of unforgettable football moments. These coaches with their tactical brilliance have indeed rewritten the rules of the game. A great coach doesn't just build a team, they build individuals. In the grand arena of football, player development is a vital aspect that often goes unnoticed. Coaches play a pivotal role in honing the skills of their players, both on and off the field. They don't just teach them how to better control the ball or execute a perfect pass. They instill discipline, build character, and foster a sense of camaraderie that binds the team together. Take, for example, the case of the legendary coach, Sir Alex Ferguson. During his reign at Manchester United, he didn't just amass trophies. He nurtured raw talents into world-class players. The likes of David Beckham and Ryan Giggs flourished under his tutelage, transforming from promising youngsters into football icons. Similarly, Pep Guardiola, during his time at Barcelona, had a profound impact on Lionel Messi's career. Recognizing Messi's potential, Guardiola nurtured him, refining his natural talent and helping him evolve into the football maestro we know today. These are not isolated instances. Across the globe, we see the transformative power of coaching. Coaches work tirelessly behind the scenes, studying their players, identifying their strengths and weaknesses, and devising unique training regimes to help them reach their full potential. They offer guidance and support, fostering an environment where players are encouraged to learn, grow, and constantly push their boundaries. But it's not just about physical prowess. Emotional intelligence, mental strength, and a winning mindset are equally important. Coaches often double as life mentors, helping players navigate the pressures of the game, manage their emotions, and maintain their focus amidst the noise and chaos. They teach resilience, perseverance, and the power of teamwork. In essence, a good coach doesn't just make a player better at football. They shape their players into well-rounded individuals, 
capable of handling not just the challenges on the pitch, but those off it as well. The true testament of a coach's success lies in the growth of their players. Some coaches have not just transformed teams, but the game itself. Let's take a walk down memory lane and revisit the game changers of football. These are the coaches who dared to challenge the status quo, to revolutionize the way football is played, and in doing so, have left an indelible mark on the sport's history. Consider Rhinus Michaels, the Dutch mastermind credited with the invention of total football. This tactical theory revolutionized the game in the 70s. It encouraged players to adopt multiple positions during a match, resulting in a fluid, dynamic style of play. Michels's tactics broke down traditional positional boundaries, creating a more versatile and unpredictable game. Then there's the Italian strategist Arrigo Sacchi, who transformed AC Milan into one of the most formidable teams of the late 80s and early 90s. Sacchi's high-pressing game and zonal marking system challenged the conventional man-to-man -man marking strategy, shifting the paradigm of defensive play in football. And who can forget the impact of Pep Guardiola? As the orchestrator of Tiki Taka at Barcelona, Guardiola's philosophy of maintaining possession and quick, short passing changed the face of modern football. His approach has since been adopted by teams worldwide, demonstrating the far-reaching influence of his coaching style. We also have the likes of Bela Gutmann, the Hungarian coach who introduced the 4-2-4 formation in the 50s, and Helenio Herrera, the Argentine-Italian coach who popularized Catenaccio, a tactical system focused on strong defensive play. These coaches dared to innovate, to think outside the box. Their efforts have not only led to the evolution of tactics and strategies, but also influenced the very culture and spirit of the game. They've shown us that football is not just about scoring goals, but also about the beauty of teamwork, the thrill of creativity, and the joy of the game. These game changers have left a lasting legacy in the annals of football history. The transformative power of visionary coaches cannot be understated. The journey we've embarked on today has unveiled the true architects of football, the coaches. Their genius lies not only in orchestrating the grand symphony that plays out on the pitch, but also in the quieter, more profound acts of mentorship that shape individual players into football legends. From the tactical mastery that confounds opponents to the strategic acumen that turns the tide of entire games, their influence is felt in every corner of the football world. They are the creators of champions, the nurturers of raw talent, and the innovators who continuously push the boundaries of the sport. In the grand theatre of football, players may be the actors who captivate us with their performances, but let us not forget the directors who craft these masterpieces behind the scenes. Behind every great team indeed, there's a visionary coach, the true master of the game.